as I come back in this chair and look at the AFC East, and if you look at the AFC standings through 10 weeks, every team in the AFC East is in the playoffs. All four of them. Oh, baby. The Dolphins are your two seed after they pounded the Browns in Miami, hitting their bye week at 7-3. and three. A half game better than the, wait for it, second place Jets at 6-3. and three. Currently, your five seed. Well, Back I don't know. It's, it's the truth. I don't know what's so funny yeah, about it. So funny. It's not funny. Second place Jets. It's not the, funny. the five, six, seven, your seeds in the wild, all wild card oh. Jets, Bills, Patriots. Ooh. As the Chargers and Bengals are sitting on the outside looking in, Bengals, nice bye week for them. As the Chargers lost on Sunday night football, and they're the nine seed. Then there's the Colts. We'll talk about that Lurking coming up. In the 10th spot. But. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, I just want to say this about the Buffalo Bills. I'm not concerned about them right now. I see a quarterback who is trying to proverbially do too much right now. I don't see an injured quarterback. I see a quarterback trying to do too much much that throw into the end zone in overtime the josh allen Bad. try to stick it in yeah. there to gabe davis on second down like unnecessary unnecessary he's trying to be the hero with every throw where and, and again this is what will happen with supremely talented people and this is what will happen in my estimation when they don't run it enough they don't run it enough they never have Buffalo. And Devin Singletary's actually been picking He's up some yards. Been good. Okay. Yeah, been good. And they they just sometimes you just forget about the run. They just forget it. And Josh Allen just, you know, turns into their best running back. But I see a quarterback that attempted to do too much. And then, of course, that botched snap that happened after they stopped the Vikings on fourth and goal from the one-inch line. I I don't know if that had anything to do with his injured elbow. I I could I doubt it. I Meaning, of course, Allen will never admit it. But we saw the top team in the NFC and one of the top teams in the AFC because the Chiefs are, in my mind, the best-looking team in the AFC right now, with all due respect to Miami. You saw two teams just make too many mistakes. And in the NFL, it doesn't matter if you've got an MVP candidate, a quarterback. It doesn't matter if you've got a defense that's really stout. You make too many mistakes, they will catch up to you. Didn't catch up to Buffalo a couple weeks ago when Allen threw two picks against Green Bay. Because I guess Christian Watson wasn't playing. And so the... Mistakes are catching up. They caught up with the Bills in the home of the Jets two Sundays ago, and it caught up with them against the Minnesota Vikings up 27-10, to 10, and they blew it. They couldn't put Dalvin Cook down on the ground. He runs and rips one off down 17 on a huge touchdown run in a hole blown open by Justin Jefferson. And then you saw that mistake on their own goal line that left the Vikings take the lead, and they made the mistake in overtime with Josh Allen. Trying to force one in. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.